Hello everybody, this is Annabelle Matheson, um, the subject coordinator for NRS 328, which is professional nursing, evidence-informed practice. Well, I'm going to go through some of the important things in this subject and look at the interact site for you to get an uh, idea of what you're going to be doing this semester. So here are the learning outcomes. Um, they're right at the beginning of the subject outline and I'll show you where to access that in a minute. So these learning outcomes uh, really look at the relationships between uh, research theory and evidence-based practice and get you to be able to apply principles of ethical research and cultural competence in appraising research, describing the research process and evaluating um, research articles and whether they're ready for practice. So the question I get from students most commonly is what do I do need to do to pass the subject? Well what you need to do is firstly you need to undertake both assessments successfully which means that you need to get more than 50% in both in either, each assessment um, and we'll talk more about that um, in a little while. If you're an on-campus student, you need to come to more than 80% of classes to meet terms for the subject. And research both from Charles Sturt and from many other universities demonstrates that, that students that come to class regularly are more likely to pass. And you may have seen a campaign um, around about that. So what resources are there to help you succeed in this subject and go on um, and graduate if you're a graduating student? Well firstly, um, the subject outline's there and you should read that and download a copy and print it if you're a printing sort of a person or keep it on your desktop if that's how you would prefer to uh, can go on with it. You need to look at the modules and they change as per student needs. So don't look at them at the beginning of the semester and print everything out. Um, because if a student asks me a question and I get a few questions of that nature, I will go in and find new resources or make new resources for students to assist with particular queries. So things are always changing in the in the um, modules, even though they're ready. Um, if students find there's a gap, uh, I like to add to it and be uh, rather than uh, be waiting till next year to do everything these are some of the things that I could react directly with and so if John Smith says to me look I don't really understand descriptive st statistics very well I can go and either make a new video or find a good YouTube video um, to support people's learning because if we've got one student who finds it a topic hard often many students do so the online modules are there. Then you have your on-campus class or your online meeting and the online meeting I'll, uh, I have an announcement up uh, about that. Um, you have readings which are situated within the modules and I'll show you them. You have the discussion boards um, and I'll show you them as well and uh, you also have consult time for students um, both on campus academics so if you happen to be um, at Albury campus you're going to email Jess Biles uh, if you're at Dubbo you're going to email Patience Moyo if you're going to uh, be at Wagga you're going to email Marie Burnoth and if you're at Bathurst you'll email me and the online students what we used to call distance education students you're going to email me as well okay where should you start? Okay, first of all, read the subject outline, download it, highlight the important bits. You can either electronically um, highlight or you can print it out and highlight. So what's due when? Go through the modules carefully. Ask questions in the class or online meeting or on the discussion board and organise a consult with an academic if there are things you're unsure of and you just feel like you're not understanding. Okay. This is something that we often get. Now, what happens if something goes wrong? Now, there are, there are heaps of things that can go wrong in a semester of study. Uh, you can uh, have things where you don't understand the content. So first of all, make sure you've checked up that there's not something about it in the subject outline. Check the modules. 
ask a question on the discussion board or check the discussion board. Somebody else may have asked the question. And after you've done those things, then contact the academic for help. So send your local contact um, an email saying, oh, hi, Annabelle, I don't really understand uh, what... Uh, the difference between qualitative and quantitative and I'll both give you some answers about where to seek that learning and you know maybe give you another reading to go and see if it's, it's easier for you and then we can after you've done those things check that your understanding is a bit clearer personal related issues please contact your academic staff member directly I know for most of you you've been studying with us a while so um, I shouldn't this shouldn't be new information but it's important that you don't put issues on the discussion board like for example you know having trouble in my marriage my mother died that kind of thing they're not things that other students need to know if you need assistance with uh, for example an extension you contact your uh, on-campus person if you're an on-campus student or you contact me if you're a if you're a uh, online student or if you're at Bathurst so any personal related issues we can look at a short um, a short extension you will need to have some documentation so there's a range of ways you can provide that it could be something like a medical certificate if you were ill um, a medical certificate if you're for example your child has been in hospital it might be a stat deck it might be another form of um, a documentation okay check with your uh, your academic staff member about what's needed in in the situation but in most cases we can um, you know undertake things to assist you okay let's look at the interact side all right so most of you should have now been here and had a look at this landing page okay it's got a bit of a welcome there and right down the bottom it tells you right on the front page tells you when your assignments are due we're going to go through them in more detail now we're going to have a look at the, the side here on the side here this is called the left hand tab down here okay and each of those are clickable links for you to go into to have a look now we're going to go and have a look at some so the subject outline will bring you into one and you choose your cohort and you click into that and your subject outline will open if you're not really sure about I2 this will give you some other ways in which you can find information and then this evaluation is for right at, at the end of the session I won't open it now um, now staff contacts here you'll find all the emails and um, that kind of thing for the, the staff contacts um, please go in and have a look at um, that and get the number and phone number and remember when you're ringing or ringing or emailing somebody put what cohort you're with what your name and student number is as well here's where the announcements will go okay so that's where you should go now the discussion board you'll see has been broken up into a range of different areas if you've got a question about assessment one you would go in here assessment two if you're a Bath student go in there if you're an online student you go in here uh, if you've just got a general content go in there and this is a ask a librarian one where, where our librarian Tim will be um, checking that a couple of times a week and then if you're an online student you can go into the meeting room and um, we'll be meeting once a week alrighty it's a tutorial style class rather than a lecture so you will be expected to uh, contribute so you need a headset and microphone please organize one they're pretty cheap from from you know Harvey Norman or online uh, you should be able to pick one up pretty cheaply or even some reject shops have them then here we go into the into the learning modules and each of these are uh, sorry I'll just keep you will have some information now the way in which you move through the modules is this button here it moves you through okay so um, and each of these will open a video and then there is diagrams things to read um, 
and activities so down you know and for example down here there's you can clickable links to go and have a look at things all right so that's the modules when your assignments are due you'll go in here and click my grades and you'll be able to get your marks back this is for the tutorial sign up for if you're an internal or on-campus student only in here I've got information about um, uh, the research study design plan and help for that and I've got a number of videos that I'm preparing um, that will assist you here so keep checking back here for further videos and I'll do more as students um, suggest they need more help here's a, the library oh, it's just up the top here this is a clickable link into where you can go into the library guide now this will help you with both assignments please um, go and have a look at it to help you prepare for your assignments then we've got down here the journal tool that you'll use for your um, for your uh, first assignment and you go in here and you go create journal entry and you can put something in okay and and then that'll give you instructions for that all right now or the, the instructor sorry the instructions are here then we go on to the critique articles now they're the actual articles so they're again clickable links to the library Choose, read them all three and then choose one that you like now in this next section which is called helpful critiquing the research article assignment you go in here there are I've done some videos in here for you to look at and I've done four videos of examples for you to go through okay um, then there's the turn it in information to be used for the class um, and then we have Easts all right and then right down the bottom here we've got library um, learning opportunities and, and useful links okay so uh, that's the interact site and where you can get help and I hope this video has been useful for you uh, any questions please email me or your subject lecturer and we hope you enjoy the subject